going on everybody welcome back to the channel happy saturday in this video we are looking at the mlb DraftKings FanDuel, and price picks plays for this 10 gamer that we have tonight let's go ahead and get started as always if you enjoy the videos appreciate it for the like button subscribe if you haven't already first game up is the white Sox against the texas rangers should be a good game here uh could be a little bit high scoring if the roof is open and the wind is looks like it's blowing out right now uh so i do like the white Sox bats a bit uh, you have them getting healthier, still not. Uh, they got Luis Robert back, but he's, I don't know, for some reason he's not in the projected lineup. But Eli Jimenez has been red hot recently. He looks like a great play at his price tag. You can you know, always look to get to Tim Anderson, Vaughn, and Abreu. Don't have much interest in the Rangers bats at all. Kopech's been solid this season, nothing bad to say about him. They don't let him go crazy deep into games, so he's not always a great uh, play for DFS. But I do like you know, the way that he just doesn't give up a lot of damage. Giants bats look pretty solid today uh, against the A's. You have Peterson expected to return. He's only $3,600 on DraftKings. Looks like a pretty good value. Uh, and then you have some value, but these, this team has lost four straight. Not looking good. They didn't make any moves at the deadline to try to become buyers. They didn't sell off Rodon, so they're kind of just stuck in neutral. Uh, besides, like, Peterson, maybe Lestella, maybe Belt. Don't have much interest. Your Stremski's been in a big slump recently. And then, obviously, Rodon's one of the best pitching options today. Uh, White Sox against the Royals. Wind blowing out here in Kansas City. Uh, Red Sox bats look solid. Even some of the Royals bats look good against Evaldi, who does give us some power. Jalen Davis at $2,600, batting leadoff for them against a lefty and Lynch, who does give up home runs, even though Davis isn't that guy. But Lynch does give up damage to righties, and you're looking at a bunch of solid right-handed options today. Jalen Davis, Bogarts, Martinez are the top plays. Uh, you can consider Fam if you wanted to. And then on the Royal side, Bobby Witt looks solid at only 47. He's been awesome recently. And uh, they have the $2,000 second baseman now that Whit Merrifield has been traded to the Blue Jays. Uh, Mike Massey at 2K flat looks solid. He was batting second for them yesterday. And then obviously, if you wanted to go super cheap at first base, you have Pascatino there at $2,100. Next game, oh, yeah, Max Scherzer, a great pitching option against the strikeout heavy Braves team. Should be a pretty low scoring game. You have two solid pitchers going at it. So. Don't have any interest in really either offense. If you wanted to pick a pitcher, I would definitely go to Scherzer. Like the Blue Jays side today against Bundy, who we all know Bundy's given up a lot of damage and a lot of home runs over his career, especially when he was with the with the O's and uh, getting not an easy matchup against this powerful Blue Jays lineup. So I like all them all, especially Vlad Guerrero uh, going down here to like Teoscar, Bache, um, those solid options as well. I uh, don't have much interest in the next game for the bats here. You have two solid pitchers, uh, Montgomery facing off against his former teams. Uh, but I do think you can consider, like, Judge, obviously, against a lefty, but he is 6,000. Uh, Yankees don't have the highest total, only 4.3. And it is a ballpark downgrade after what this team is used to, just poking it over that short porch. And now going into St. Louis, it's a much bigger ballpark than what they're used to. We have the Brewers against the Reds here. I like Ashby as a solid pitching option. This Reds team traded away a lot of their good players. They didn't even have much to begin with, but now the only guys you're worried about is Jonathan India and Joey Votto. Everybody else, you're, you know, you have four guys at 2K at the bottom of the lineup. I think Ashby, I love his strikeout prop today, and I like the fact to use him on DraftKings or even FanDuel. Next up, uh, we have the Diamondbacks. They, I like them a bit today. Alec Thomas been solid. He's only $3,300. Marte could be a nice mini stack. Merrill Kelly's a okay pitching option as well as a maybe an SP2 or a cheap SP1. Padres against the Dodgers, even though you have two powerful offenses, if you still have two solid pitchers and there's some other teams I'm looking to stack, so even though the Dodgers have a 5.1 total, I don't want to really stack them against Clevenger. And then last game, you can look to some of these right-handed bats from the Mariners against Detmers, like Kyle Lewis, super cheap, but he's been struggling. Uh, and then you have like a 2K catcher if you wanted to, 2K Toro at the bottom. But ultimately, uh, they're probably not going to be a crazy stack. Maybe like a mini stack would be fine. Going back to DraftKings, I'm going with Carlos Rodon as my favorite pitcher. Just He's $1,100 cheaper than Scherzer. He gets a better matchup, even though the Braves strike out a lot. I mean, you're not going to have to worry about the A's really piling it on against Rodon. They're one of the worst offenses in baseball this season. Rodon's coming off of back-to-back -back great strikeout games with 10 in each. He did give up five runs against the Diamondbacks, 
but you still you know bounce back nicely against the Cubs on last week and he's coming off of a great start against them earlier he's on the road which he has struggled in but it's a not a ballpark downgrade usually if he's leaving San Francisco it's a ballpark downgrade just with how good of a pitcher and park that is but Oakland is one of the few that's better than uh, his home ballpark and the second pitcher I'm going with is Ashby you can consider going with like Kirby here at 79 if you wanted to against a another strikeout heavy uh, Angels team but his pitch count has been kind of all over the place recently uh, so I'd rather go with like Ashby who we've also he had one start where he got blown up when he lasted 22 pitches, but otherwise he, they do let him go deep into games. He went 111-91 last two starts, and the matchup is so good against this depleted Reds team. So those are the two pitchers that I am really looking at. Started going over at first base. I'm going with Vlad Guerrero at 53. He's uh, been solid recently, 368 in his last 10 three home runs, uh, back-to-back games with home runs, and decent chance I can continue again today against Bundy the way that he's uh, given up home runs over his career in this season and Guerrero's uh, over the last 10 games he only has seven strikeouts so he's really seeing the ball well he's not much of a strikeout guy uh, recently over the last couple of months so he's going to be a very good option at first base or some other ones if you wanted to go down here depending on what team you want to stack uh, but I think it's easy to, easier to get to Vlad Guerrero and pay up at first base, and there's some value that we'll get to in the outfield spots uh, that we can consider. Over at shortstop, give me Xander Bogarts at 48. Like him and anyways, whether it's facing a righty or lefty, but coming off forehead game, great yesterday. Going against a lefty, which is always a plus for a guy like Bogarts, but he's always a guy that will hit for high average. Home run's been a little bit down this year. He does have some stolen base upside. Uh, but Lynch is just not a good pitcher, and the wind blowing out, expect the Red Sox to at least put up some runs today. Outfield, give me the leadoff hitter from the uh, from the Red Sox team in Jalen Davis, who's only $2,600. He's a guy that been bounced around a bit over the last few years, but he does uh, give you some upside. He's had a couple of okay games and batting leadoff. Hopefully he's able to... Doesn't have any stolen bases yet, but it's only been seven games for him. You know, he does give you some of that upside. A little bit tougher to steal against a lefty, uh, but just getting a good price tag for you know, a guy that could score a couple runs today, could get on base uh, multiple times, and maybe can get you some five at bats if the team does go off in a stack. And the last guy is going to be just a guy that's really hot right now. It's been fun playing him recently, and that's Ila Jimenez from the White Sox, $4,400. Another home run for him last game, um, and you know over his last ten, he's batting 421 with a crazy 711 slugging percentage and OPS of well over 1100 as well. A batting average has skyrocketed for Eloy Jimenez. He's back to uh, back to where he was at the middle of last season when he was just crushing everything. So at 44, still a really really good price tag for him. So that's it for DraftKings. Go ahead and talk about FanDuel. Okay, on FanDuel, same exact plays. Uh, Carlos Rodon has my pitching option at $10,600. Uh, for the main slate, we have our uh, first base going with Vlad Guerrero at 41 Even though he's expensive, still have an upside uh, with the rest of the remaining salary at thirty-one twenty-five. And the Bogarts is cheap at shortstop at thirty-one. Jalen Davis batting leadoff at two k flat, great value play. And then Eli Jimenez, the way that he's locked in, his price tag is, is not moving on. Either side, especially on FanDuel at 27, he's one of the best value picks at in the outfield spot. So that's what I got for FanDuel and DraftKings. Let's go ahead and look at price picks. So on price picks, uh, the first prop I have is Aaron Ashby over five strikeouts. I love this number. Uh, he's had a couple of big strikeout games over the season with like a couple of over seven strikeout games. If we look at this Reds team right now, I mean, the it just hasn't adjusted for them trading away a Drury and trading away Tommy Pham. Like even the guys, you know, we don't have... 100% like complete numbers with uh, Barreo here, and some of these guys have very limited at bats, like Paparisky and um, like Aquino. But we know Aquino's always been a strikeout guy. He's striking out 42% of the time this season, 36% uh, for Joey Votto, and you got other guys north of 20%. Um, so for a guy like Ashby, 27.3% K rate on the season, he's going to have some lefties with like Votto that he can take advantage of, who's uh, striking out lefties 33%. Uh, and then he's going to have a lot of righties in here, but he's still striking righties out pretty well at 25.6%. Uh, 
we look at or last two seasons, similar strikeouts uh, number at thirty at twenty seven point six percent. So hopefully, the worst case it will be a push, but I do think that Aaron Ashby does give you upside for six, seven, eight strikeouts today. Second one is Pablo Lopez going up against the Cubs. Cubs didn't make they didn't trade away Happ and Contreras like a lot of people thought they would, but I still like Pablo Lopez. Uh, looking at the Cubs team, there's still a lot of strikeouts in this lineup, so I do think that Pablo Lopez will be able to capitalize on guys like Wisdom and McKinstry and Morel and even at the top Contreras and Hap's been striking out more and more recently uh well it's over the last two years look at just at this season uh we still have high strikeout stuff for the same guys so uh hopefully he's able to get you the quality start go a little bit deeper and get you some strikeouts 33 and a half looks pretty solid for me taking the over and then I'm going with the three best pitching options today to give me the over 43 and a half for Carlos Rodon fantasy, the way that he's been pitching back to back 10 strikeout games. Um, and if he does that again, don't think that he'll have trouble giving. I, mean, I don't think that would give up a lot of runs against Oakland, if any. Uh, and good chance to get the win, quality start, all that good stuff. Same thing for Shane McClanahan. Both teams are heavily favored, especially the Rays going up against the Tigers. Uh, he has a big matchup advantage. Tigers strike out a ton. They have the worst offense in baseball this season in terms of scoring runs. And the last guy is Max Scherzer, only 39 and a half. I like his number as well. Um, going up against the Braves, they strike out a bunch. So the number is super low for him. Scherzer goes super deep into games. You're looking at 100-plus pitches out of him, or at least very close to that number every time he's out there. Rarely ever gets hit around and shelled. And looking at this team, 32% strikeout rate. For Scherzer this season, and you know, everybody on this team is north of 20%. So he could have a, a great day against this team in terms of how often they strike out. Nobody is below 22%. Uh, and then you have guys maxing out at 30% for Contreras and 27% for Swanson. So that's it. I feel pretty good about these price picks. Three GOAT pitchers and then a couple of pretty good values with in terms of their props with Lopez and Ashby. But that's what I got for you guys. Happy Saturday. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Best of luck today, and I will see you all next time.